Welcome everyone. Today we are working on the Get to Know My Neighborhood Every Other Weekend project. And this one I'm doing a representation of where when Pop and I went to the beach and it had where the water was coming right in the, the like the land curved around outwards and it was just really beautiful to see and enjoy and watch and listen to the waves lap up against the shore. So here it is here, what I'm trying to represent anyways. Obviously these are all the little pebbles uh, on the shoreline and then the different depths of water and then where it's going to the, the shore, the, the land mass itself. So and of course one of my birds and a nice big sun in the corner, okay? So there we go. Pity pity. Mm-hmm, it looks lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. So I have this one said, oh, and of course a little heart. There's a little tiny heart right there to represent my love of the beach. Like hanging out at the beach in the water. All right, so what I have here is my dark fabric and I've just kind of worked it like, almost like, like one little corner of it because I really wanted the, the ocean and the rest to kind of just take, take a, take off from there sort of thing. I have tried to uh, de-paper all of my little rocks that I'm going to be using along the shoreline here. So let's kind of scoop them off to the side. I've got one of my waters down already and I just want to lay out my background, uh, my other water and my backgrounds first before I start placing all my little rocks. Okay. So I did peel the paper off and I'm trying to layer it so it kind of looks like, you know, how the, how the ocean does lay out, right? And then we've got this lighter green here. And I can tell I've used all my even sorts of little starts, little scrappy bits to be able to put these projects together. Utilize, right? Have little bits left over. Okay. And we're just going to kind of put that right, just right on top, just barely, barely overlapping. And then when it comes to this one here, the lighter green, representing lighter foliage. Okay. Again, piecing it. So I want to kind of tuck that just right under, just a little bit. And then this darker green one, which means like the dark forest trees, um, as you come around the curve. Oops, not the cove there. Let's just kind of tuck back in there, just a little bit. Just a little representation of those big dark trees. Okay, all right, I think that looks pretty good. What we could do is we could set this to make sure that we're happy with that. Uh, we got our sun about there. It looks kind of like a fried egg, but it's really not. <laughs> so actually, I just kind of like put a yellow on a yellow to kind of represent like the, like the beauty of the, the morning sunrise. Okay, kind of put it right about there, I guess. Okay, and then we got one of our nice big black birds, or big birds. Okay. It's flying relatively close. Okay, so let's let's set this, and then we will go and lay out all our little uh, pebbles to make our shoreline. Okay. So first, let's. I believe I took all the paper off. Just want to press it. Now this is just a heat and press uh, or heat and bond uh, project. If you would like to applique it, there's uh, many many different ways out there. We've even done a video if you wanted to check that out. But uh, you just do a search. And there's like lots that come up and you'll find one that uh, suits you for your project okay now don't forget you have to leave a comment in the video you have to leave a comment in every single video because it's only list from those people from that video is going to be drawn and then that name goes in the pool and then that name from each each week right so uh, each week we do it so it's always best to give yourself the best chance is to comment every single time okay so we can always go back and watch older videos because when this is all over we'll take We'll take those ones that have already, you know, because that gives the other ones who, who didn't know beforehand a chance to catch up. So give themselves a chance. So always make a comment in every video. Uh, okay, now we're just going to lay out our rocks, okay? Try to put some of the bigger ones down to the bottom to give some sort of depth, right? Like to, for, for depth, percep depth perception. Blurry. Blurry on the free tongue. Okay. And then we're just going to... I'm not going to try to make it exactly like the first one. I just want to lay out the pebbles so they kind of hit the shoreline as we're coming up here. And then there's a couple of little stragglers, right? That's kind of, a, kind of the idea. So it was a beautiful uh, morning when we went to the beach that day. It was a gorgeous Sunday. It was really quiet. There was a few people there, not too, too many. Like maybe about 10. So, And I, there's a little um, resort just not too far down onto the beach. So 
So I think that's where they came from, but it was a home shelter. It's a little, a little windy out today, but it's lovely. It's not too hot. Try to spread them out, spread them out the darks and the... I uh, most, most of the rocks seemed really kind of light and tan in color and stuff like that, so that's why I chose light and tan colors uh, are here to, to play with and work with to represent our little beach rocks. And then it gets really sandy too, so... But there is parts of the shoreline, there's, especially in Prince Edward Island, it is all, like, it's red. It's that red, red clay, so it's like the red sand. And we've, we've seen it, Pop and I have seen it up on the north part of Prince Edward Island. We've seen that red sand. Okay, all right. Now it's just a matter of layering and being happy with where you're laying your, your rocks or pebbles out and... And it's okay if you got some next to each other, as long as you kind of just really making sure you're filling in that that shoreline kind of having the pebbles right up against the, the water or what you're representing as your water and then just kind of like barely into it and then we'll spread a few out here make sure we got this the adhesive side down that's definitely key okay. Alright, let's move a few around and if you feel that you know you want more then put more like that was quite a quite a few I did but I didn't know if I was going to want more if I was going to want less or what have you play play by ear okay. you can always use fabric too you know to represent uh, your sand or your rocks okay. all right that looks that's pretty okay now we're gonna take our little heart we have to peel the paper off the heart though And it's easy just to score the back or just kind of like fiddle and faddle with it and take it up. And I'm just going to put it right amongst the rocks. Okay. Okay, little fluffs out of the way. Make sure I'm happy with it. Make sure it's close representation to uh, the first one, you know, because I do want them to, to, to match and look as, as cohesive as, uh, as possible. Let's do this there couple little tweaks. You can always take a pair of tweezers or a stylist or something like that to to um, really make sure you want it. Go go where you want it. Okay. Get to put all your papers away. Okay. There we go. I think, uh, I think you're pretty happy. Alright. Okay. And now because some of these are layered on layered on layered, you might want to just give it a little bit more time. Just to, just to make sure everybody's uh, sticking together. Exactly. Sticking together. Yes, we've had a really fun educational time with this Get to Know My Neighborhood project. I was thinking about it at the beginning of the year because I thought, okay, we just moved here. We've only been here for two, less than two months at that point when I was thinking about it. Like, how can I really get to know where we moved? Where where we moved to? Where, where we now call home? So... And this was like definitely one of the ways to do it. There's a few, there's several other buildings I'd like to do, but um, I have to see them first. So, all right, so we'll just trim this up a little bit. It's going to the blocks are going to be uh, eight by eight when they get into the uh, quilt to begin with. Okay. Now these are just going to be quilted with a nice feather edge to edge uh, over the whole quilt project, probably really densely, if not probably even quilted in two directions. And uh, I'm really, really excited to be able to to put that together. It looks like I could use a little heat there. Do big, big, big one. Yes, uh, last uh, block was the Jitney Bridge, and unfortunately, uh, I did not get to cross it before um, it had unfortunately burned down. So, uh, but at least it was nice to be able to um, memorize that one. Memorize that one. Okay. So, thank you, everybody. Uh, greatly appreciate you, and I hope you have a fantastic day. And thanks to, to everybody who joined us uh, last Saturday on our 12 hour stream. We had a fantastic time with uh, co host dynamic duo Gwenny Simpson. And uh, I can't wait to do it again tomorrow, Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern for a few hours. We're just going to say a few hours because I like to keep her more than two. <laughs> and uh, I think we're going to have some good fun. So, take care, everybody. Big hugs to you, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you so much. Take care.